Last time I was at Worlds of Fun was for Haunt. I am back for the same exact reason today and tomorrow. Damn busy zinger is open. So I'll be able to ride that for my first time and see how that compares to other GCIs I've ridden. And also get back on Patriot, Timberwolf, Mamba, and Prowler. We got five hours tonight and then only one. I'm excited to get all these rides and uh, see how they all run. So let's go ahead and have a good experience here at Worlds of Fun for Halloween Haunt. things first. I am obviously going straight for Zambezi Zinger, as that is the whole reason why I'm here. Let's go uh, get on this one, but I think I heard it's closed for right now from one of the people who work here, so that's unfortunate, but I know it's over near Boomerang, which, oh, I think that's it. Oh yeah, I can see it right behind the trees over here, so looks like that'll be our first ride of the day, though. I'm gonna wait this out, because uh, this is a new ride for me, so we got Prowler over here, Zambezi Zinger, Boomerang over here, so if Zambezi Zinger is closed, I think I'll wait it out a little bit and see if it opens. Otherwise, I'm going to Prowler. Let's, uh, I guess, start with Zambezi Zinger. Here it is. Zambezi Zinger's entrance. Sam BZ Zinger is open after, I don't know, 10 minutes away. We are going to see how this GCI is. And uh, overall, I'm liking how it's looking so far. Very photogenic ride. So we got Boomerang going right here. But uh, that's not important for right now. Here's what we're looking for, Sam BZ Zinger. So uh, yeah, Sam BZ Zinger Safari Base Camp. This looks like the line, which uh, not gonna lie, it's not as bad as I thought it could be. Could be so much worse. So let's take a ride on this. Just rode Zambezi Zinger for the first time, got front row. I don't care what you guys say, that body's a Mystic Timbers in every way. That was so much better. Now, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm recording a video segment now. Stop. Hi! Okay, he's going to say hi. But anyway, Zambezi Zinger, way better than Mystic. I don't care what anyone says about it. The restraints were actually horrible. They felt like Sky Rush. And that worked. If you saw my Hershey Park vlog, then you know that I didn't enjoy Sky Rush as much as I would have otherwise because the restraints were bad. Those restraints on Zambi Zinger, they were worse than Sky Rush. The lighting is saying a lot. I definitely prefer American Thunder to it. I do want to try the back, but the second half, which was the uh, front of the woods and whatnot, like, that was so cool. I was like, bear right, no, bear left, pointing Big Bear Mountain. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Now, let's ride the best GCI I've ever ridden, Prowler. I'm really excited to ride this one to see how it compares to all the other GCIs I've ever ridden, like Zambi Zinger just now, but also Lightning Racer. American American Thunder, Mystic Timbers, and the GCI that a lot of people say is the best one now, Thunderhead. I am really intrigued to see if Prowler is as good as uh, I remember. So let's go ride Prowler and see how good this ride is. 85 feet tall and 50 miles an hour. You better be ready for the wrath of the Prowler. Now, welcome back, riders. How was that ride? Thunderhead. Got another one-click ride like I did last year. The airtime was the most insane ejector I've ever gotten on a GCI. Like, I was legitimately scared for my life there almost. Yeah, that destroys every other GCI, but uh, definitely not better than Mamba though, which is actually what I'm going to now. So, let's hope it's not like last year where it breaks down after waiting for a while and then doesn't reopen the rest of the night. <laughs> Jesus. 
I like that. Oh, that's Definitely wasn't on this time. I think during Haunt it was on a little bit. It uh, kind of killed the return run. I was referring to the mid-course break run during Haunt last year, not this year. Not just now. Like, this thing was flying. After riding Steel Force, which had the mid-course turn on a lot harder than Mamba ever did, I really appreciated flying out of my seat ridiculously high on the return run. So this will be controversial, but Mamba is, in my opinion, the best Cedar Fair hyper coach that starts with the letter M. No, I'm not ashamed to admit that. What I'm going to go to do now is I think go ride Spinning Dragons because I want to get the experience on it. And even though it's just a curse flower spinning coaster i do want to see if i can get a better experience on plus it's only a 30 minute wait which for that ride is ridiculously good so i'm gonna go over there and get on that and then if time allows i might just do probably this tonight honestly although i do want to ride patriot or timberwolf but if i don't get on either of those today i'll do both of those tomorrow and also i do want to try boomerang again
was getting some shots of Zambezi Zinger and Boomerang from, I think it was a Pumpkin Eater, which is one of the haunted trackers here. I think I'm gonna probably lap Prowler till closing because I was gonna ride a Zambezi Zinger again, but that line was showing a 30 minute wait. Prowler, according to the app, does a 10 minute wait. So I figured let's marathon Prowler for the last hour and a half and then both drop Zambezi Zinger and get back road tomorrow. So I do wanna ride the back, so let's ride Prowler and then go to Zambezi tomorrow oh my gosh it's literally a walk-on i did not expect to see this definitely marathon in this thing now such an amazing ride and there's literally no one here well we got some people showing up but still how often do you see this at a haunted event never I just did Prowler in the back row for my first time since July of last year. When I came here during Haunt, I got four rides on Prowler and each of them was in the front row. So I didn't do the back row last October. It was awesome to ride the back row. It was a little smooth in the front, actually. I hate to bring up a Prowler marathon, but my brother is over at Timberwolf and he said that he's running absurdly insane. Plus walk-on so i'd like to go over and ride timberwolf and then maybe also patriot before going back to prowler maybe i'll do doing mama again for the park closest i'm trying oh, awesome ride on Timberwolf. Almost got a Zen ride actually because I would have stayed on probably if I could but someone else came and I'm like oh so I had to go. It was still a good ride and uh, yeah still my third favorite ride in the park. Ah spinning dragons is why it's long. And they're still doing that thing where they run one car on the track at a time which it still bothers me why they do that. So that's not gonna happen. I guess I'll just go to Zambezi Zinger and get on that and then maybe also Boomerang before the night's over. Plus I haven't done a night ride on Boomerang yet either so let's head over that way. Zambezi Zinger's line was not moving it was about to where I was waiting for it earlier. That minute was over like 30 minutes. We got under 15, I think. So if I waited in this line, I feel like my chance to get in the back row would be a lot lower than they will be otherwise. So let's just do boomerang. And then if time allows, maybe get another ride on Prowler to end my day. I guess I just got Laurent knob. Last ride of the night on Boomerang. That was a good way to end the night. And uh, it was my third Boomerang at night because I'd done Boomerang at Six Flags St. Louis and in Vertigo Kings Island the night before. And this was number three. Like the other Boomerangs I've done at night, this one was extremely disorienting. So really solid way to end up my day here at World of Fun. And uh, we got all day tomorrow. Final ride count, it was four on Prowler. And then I think it was one on Boomerang, Mamba, Timberwolf, and Zambezi Zinger. Let's jump to the full day. Full day at Worlds of Fun is underway. Obviously, I'm starting off with Zambezi Zinger because I'm going to try and get the back of the train because I did front row last night. I like to try back row now. So I'm kind of cool about today. There's apparently a partial solar eclipse passing through the area. So I am going to try and get an eclipse ride on Prowler. So that'll be at about, I don't know, 11.50, I think, when it's about dusk here because here in Kansas City, Missouri, where I'm at right now, it is uh, cloudy, as you guys can probably tell. But uh, by the time the eclipse comes, it'll be about dusk at that point. So <laughs> rare eclipse rides on Prowler sound pretty good to me. So I was going to marathon Prowler last night, but then I had other plans. So Zambi's thing will be first and then I will probably marathon Prowler until the eclipse is done, I guess. <laughs> Zambezi is taking way too long to open, and because they load fast lane first, I imagine, I don't know if I'll be able to get the back row if they're standing row. So I figured, let's just marathon the much better GCI Prowler. So let's go do that. Traffic it down, it's traffic it to me. You're about to become a Prowler. Sorry, 
start off my day with a front row ride. I think two click rides this time on Prowler. And as you can expect, it definitely wasn't as good as my one click ride yesterday. Really, any of my rides yesterday for that matter. Then again, that's because it was running like quite slow because the park opened like a half hour ago. But it was still a fun way to start the day. And I guess let's keep marathoning this because I had pretty much a walk on there. I was one of three people on the entire train. So almost had a Zen ride like I did last July. That'd be insane to get a Zen Eclipse one click ride. <laughs> I'm freezing cold from that because I don't think it's even 60 degrees. 
of the return run, it was just unbelievable. Like the mid course, uh, normally I think I can hear the right hitting the brakes. I didn't even hear it at that time, so it was completely deactivated. Front was, uh, I think a two train weight. That's really good for the ride. In fact, it's uh, pretty much a walk on now, so I'm gonna ride it again. And then I think I'm gonna go ride Patriots. I haven't ridden that one yet. Okay, we'll put in the park at this time, so pick me turn for all five zero six, including not riding the seatbelt, we'll see if I fit in time properly. Right, safety, please do offer. But even though it wasn't uh, stabled as bad in the back, I like the front better because the transition, especially in the second half, I thought were better in the front. If you only have time to run this once, I would say do the front. But the back is still decent. But then again, uh, there isn't really much air time on it. The front didn't really do anything. It was kind of mid in the back, but the yeah, front's good. <laughs>
Does everybody have a See, that's so much better. You see what everybody participates how fun. Do we got any first time riders? Are you guys nervous? It's gonna be getting dark out here fairly soon, and I was focused on getting shots to the right. Since the park actually closes at 5 and Hall begins at 6, there'll be an hour in between. So that's what today, I guess it's I think I'm gonna rope drop, I think spinning dragons during Hall. Then maybe go ride Patriot, because uh, I haven't done spinning dragons with Patriot yet. And those two I definitely want to get on, so we'll do that once Hall starts. But in the meantime, I will be getting some more shots up until then, because it's gonna be dark out fairly soon. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your journey around the world to fun.
Worlds of Fun just made an announcement saying that they will be closing the park for normal operations in uh, 30 minutes. And uh, if I want to get a good spot in line, I need to head outside the park now because uh, you have to exit the park and then come back into the park for haunt. So I'm going to be uh, heading up to the front of the park and then uh, I guess heading outside for a bit. Oh, like spider? Yes. Yes. No, I, I call it the funnel of fun. <laughs> Haunt has technically started and I would have wrote up saying dragons but they're not open yet. So I decided to come over to Patriot, that's also not open. But I would rather ride Patriot than spinning dragons. Plus Patriot's line is really back now, it's like way back there. So probably good I'm doing this thing first during Haunt and then maybe I'll try spinning dragons later. But if I don't get on that one then that's not the other one because that's just the girl sock spinner and uh, it's like my least favorite major because it's here in the park anyway. So I would rather ride Patriot over spinning dragons honestly. Patriot open and I got the first turn on that for haunt tonight and spinning dragons actually just open So I'll be getting on this one and then I think I'll draw all the major coasters here because uh, I don't think I'll be getting on Cosmic Coaster I don't think that even opens for haunt. So I'm gonna ride spinning dragons and then uh, I think I might go ride Mamba or oh, I think Mamba. So yeah, okay this line uh, it's a little long, but I've seen it much worse than this Yeah, I'm right there. 
Dragons was not very good. I waited, I don't know, 45 minutes for it and it didn't spin. Good thing I wrote it when I did because they just closed it for weather. Like, it's not a thunderstorm or anything, but I'm really just saying can't operate in the rain. So, good thing I got on it when I did. I was gonna ride Prowler again, but it's down right now and I am getting extremely tired. Like, I do not think I'm gonna make it till closing. So, I think I might just head out early. But this was an overall really solid fun event. I'll review my ride count and see what I did over the two days I was here. For today's ride count, it was five on Prowler, two on Mamba, and then one on Patriot, Zambezu Zinger, and Spinning Dragons. For the total ride count over both days, I believe it was nine on Prowler, three on Mamba, two on Zambezu Zinger, and then one on every other coaster with the exception of Cosmic Coaster, which I did not do. Overall, it was awesome to get back to Worlds of Fun for this uh, haunt event. Prowler was just as good as I remembered. Mamba, Body Steel Force, and uh, it was awesome to get on Zambezu Zinger. And uh, sometime over the off season, Brian, Ellis, and I are gonna make a video where we all talk about our top 10 coasters in the state of Missouri. I know Prowler and Mob are definitely in the top 10. Where exactly? I don't know where. So I'll have to figure that out and you'll have to stay tuned for that video. I forgot to mention that uh, I did not get a, an eclipse ride on Prowler. I thought I was going to get dark out. It really didn't. So that's unfortunate. Before you click this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video and be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell and so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit parks and beach. Check me out there as well. It'll be the link in the description. Stay tuned for more content like this. And until then, I'll see you later.